How you doing guys? If you're just coming across this video, if you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses or have recently left and you've come across this channel, or if you're a longtime viewer, you're well aware that the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society, along with Jehovah's Witnesses, are loaded with predators. You also are aware that Watchtower is phenomenal at twisting scriptures to hide those predators. Now we all know Jehovah's Witnesses are great at painting a picture of people outside the organization. They're animals, wild potties, you'd think they would be easy to spot, and this includes predators. That in itself is wrong, <clears throat> because the best predators are the ones that you do not spot. Now, there's one thing a lot of JWs over the last few years have woke up and left the organization. Keep in mind that the predators in the organization are also waking up. And to think that these predators do not find their way to the XJW community is flat out wrong because they find their way here too. And like I said, some of them are very difficult to spot because people have this perception of what to look for. Remember the serial killers in the past as well as the serial rapists they didn't come across as animals. Most of them came across as nice guys, which is why I hate that expression when somebody says, I'm a nice guy. I hate it with a passion. That tells me they've got something to hide. Because <clears throat> nobody can say that about themselves. That's a perception that comes from outside, what other people have to say about you. But I'm not going to go on about that. I was... Uh, shared a couple of links and videos this past week by several different YouTubers on this one channel, which I'm not going to mention. Some of you are going to know who I'm talking about. Others will not. And I wasn't even aware that this person was back on YouTube. But the few videos I saw told me that this person is in dire need of help. Now, the thing, if you're just coming across the XJW community and the YouTube videos, I had touched on this several weeks ago and I wish I had access to these videos at the time because I didn't touch on this subject too much. <clears throat> Just be careful. There is different information out there for everyone and any information for anybody leaving the organization can be beneficial. Just be careful of not to get too lured in, especially if you come across a YouTuber that is hiding behind scripture. One thing I could never stand was want to be Christians that will twist things and talk about Watchtower twisting scripture, and yet they themselves are twisting scripture to benefit them. Now this person I'm talking about had come out on YouTube last year and made a confession. And it kind of rattled us all. And we all weren't quite sure how to handle it, but we all pretty much backed away. What he was thinking at the time was he'll make this confession and we'll all rally around him for support and I'll be sitting there holding hands around the campfire singing Kumbaya. The majority of people opted to get some distance. Because here we were talking about the predators and pedophiles in the organization and yet it made us look like hypocrites if we were supporting a pedophile within the community. See, we're not just talking about predators and pedophiles within Watchtower. Because it is a worldwide problem. Not just the Catholic Church. Not just Hollywood. Not just Washington. Not just the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society. Not just the Boy Scouts of America. It is everywhere. So to come down on one organization hiding pedophiles, and they do, what would that say about the XJW community if we were condoning an XJW who was an admitted pedophile? Now, he can say what he wants, no penetration, so it wasn't pedophilia. I get news for you. There is no boundary with that. A pedophile is a pedophile. Whether there was penetration or not, that was statutory rape. And this individual should be in jail. But there is a statute of limitations. Now he knows he's free. Now, if anybody has come across his channel, 
He was a JW his entire life, so he does have some information. However, to condemn everybody who's left the organization, saying he's more qualified to help than anyone else because he's been a JW his entire life, first of all, it's not what you've done when you were in the organization. It's how you've conducted your life after you have left. And all I have seen since this person emerged last year is serious depression. His life is going nowhere. He's put out his videos claiming he wants to help Jehovah's Witnesses leave the organization when it's pretty apparent all he's looking for is a support group for his issues. Now, if you are a viewer of his channel, I'm not going to come out and steer you away because he does have some information that could be beneficial to you. If he's the type of personality you're looking for, that's fine. <clears throat> the thing to be careful of is when somebody goes into too much depth about their own personal problems. And I'm not talking about using them for, as experience that you may be able to relate to. I'm talking about when they are luring you in. Somebody who does a video in the middle of the night and admitted he just got finished masturbating, that is beneficial to no one. And to call me a prude, no, believe me, Vinny is no prude. But social media is no place to discuss your personal sexual preferences. It's something I wouldn't touch on and it's something a lot of YouTubers wouldn't touch on. There's a lot of fragile people out there that really don't care to hear it. If you're looking for a wife, that is fine. But don't advertise on social media because really nobody cares. And in all honesty, somebody in their 50s has no business advertising they're looking for somebody in their 20s. There's just something seriously wrong with that. But anyways, if you have come across this channel, just be very careful. Don't get lured in. Remember, your personal information is your personal information. You're probably better off not contacting him. If you watch his videos, commenting back and forth, that's fine. But this person has a phenomenal way of twisting the scriptures. And in all honesty, in my mind, he is still a JW because he still thinks like one. Now, he will twist scripture. I was sent a video where he was condemning about 50 people in this community. 150. Who's right and who's wrong? Yet he's able to twist the scriptures and put himself in the right, and yet everybody else he's calling Satan's henchmen. That itself is wrong. When somebody cannot recognize their own faults, their own problems, and will dump it on everybody else, that's a serious issue. Now, that was a serious issue within the community. When I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you said anything about anyone, they would twist things and put themselves in the right. Always. So it was kind of like, yeah, JW is a phenomenal twisting scriptures. And a lot of people who have left the organization are great at twisting scriptures. This is why JWs, the few of them I've had that I had worked with in the workplace, were great at that, twisting scriptures. They could point fingers, but when it comes to their own fault, they would hide behind scriptures. And this is what this person is doing. Is this person, this YouTuber, a predator? Yes. Yes. And he is the most dangerous kind. Because he's putting himself out there like he's hurt. He's weak. Poor health. He wants to come. He's said it more times. I'm, a, I'm really, I'm a nice guy. And like I said, I hate when somebody says that. I mean, everybody is not going to view somebody the same. Let's face it. This world is very diverse. What somebody sees as a nice guy, somebody else is going to see as a total butt plug. I mean, there's a lot of people that know Vinny that will tell you Vinny's a colossal asshole. There's also a few, quite a few people that will swear by me. But nobody can come out and say they're a nice guy. Just be careful if you are a follower of this channel because this channel seems to be doing quite a bit better than his initial one. The one thing is, I kind of feel really bad about this because I was the first person who pushed his channel last year, and this is actually almost two years ago. And this is why I refuse to push new YouTube channels now until I found out what direction they are going. 
as his first channel, it wasn't too long before it was easy to figure out what he was. Crying about views, crying about subs subscribers. Now he's got upwards of 600 of them, which is fine. But dude, play it straight. Because the thing is, when you start luring people into your personal problems, it looks to me you're setting people up for a trap. Personally, yes, I think you're a very dangerous individual. Dangerous to me? No. But there's a lot of fragile, broken people leaving this organization. There's a lot of gullible, naive people leaving this organization. And they have left because they were subject to the predators within the organization. They don't need to deal with them on the outside as well. Dude, in all honesty, you really need to learn how to live your own life. You need to seek some professional help if you're going to continue out here on YouTube. Because I get news for you. You've got a number of people in this community watching you like a hawk. You can say what you want. You can say we're all high haters. You can put the name of the videos we upload on your channel. But just remember, we have a very large following ourselves. And nobody is picking on you. You have the persecution complex. And one thing I hate is the phrase, everybody's picking on me. They feel picked on. They feel persecuted. No, because in all honesty, dude, we feel that you are a danger to the community, that you are a danger to everyone that you come in contact with. Anyways, if anybody has come across this channel, you, some of you will know who I'm talking about. But I just wanted to get that out there, guys. And I'd appreciate your comments below. I will see you later on during the week.